For more than 30 years, a brutal murder from 1993 is now solved. New details were just released today in the murder and rape of Carmen Van Hus. Police say DNA helped them make an arrest 31 years after the crime. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hare shares how the recent discovery is providing closure to the Van Hus family. After making an arrest in a 31 year old brutal murder case, IMPD investigators say they've taken the first step toward any kind of closure the criminal justice system can provide the family of Carmen Van Hus. The 19 year old art student was found by her father, her bloody apartment left in disarray. Van Hus had reportedly been stabbed 61 times and raped at her home in the Turtle Creek apartment complex. Partially clothed body uh, on the floor. Uh, signs of a struggle, and, and that's basically all we know at this time. The year was 1993, and Van Hus's case eventually went cold, her alleged killer enjoying three decades of freedom undetected. But during that time, DNA testing technology progressed, finally pointing detectives to a suspect. It demonstrates the power of science, perseverance, and never-ending pursuit of the truth. Police say they matched now 52-year-old Dana Shepard to DNA found at the scene of the crime. Back in 2018, IMPD shipped a sample off to technology company Parabon, which performed cutting-edge analysis. Carmen's brother Jimmy thanked investigators for never giving up, adding that he hopes the same technique can be applied to other cold cases. For my dad to have to find his daughter after what was brutally done to her makes this day bittersweet. I wish she was here to see it. She was taken from me when I was a freshman in high school. And I'm thankful that finally the man that did it is where he needs to be. Deputy Chief Kendall Adams encouraged other families of victims still waiting for their closure to reach out to the homicide office, saying IMPD is committed to getting them answers and finding the funding for this kind of DNA testing. In the Van Hus case, it came from a nonprofit that provides financial support to investigative agencies for cold cases. I don't want you to think that we forgot about it. We hear it. And we know today opens a one for you. And I'll do one acknowledgement. Dana Shepard now faces charges of murder, felony murder, and rape. IMPD says a hearing is scheduled in the coming days for him to be extradited back here to Indianapolis. Reporting downtown, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.